So welcome to our DAX Fridays. Um, this is uh, Ruth Pozzuolo from uh, Curva.com and today is our second edition of DAX Fridays. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a DAX measure every Friday and explain it. And today we're going to go through count. And you wouldn't believe it how many counts there are and how different they are. Um, I'm, I'm still in shock. I have used them in different ways, but I never realized when you put them together how many. So you have count, count X, count A, count AX. You have count blanks, count rows, and distinct count. It's possible that I have forgot another count. In that case, let me know. Um, so let's go through each one of them and see uh, what they do and what differs between them. So when you should use one or the other. So for this demo, I am going to use Excel. And uh, the reason for that is that I have installed the Power Pivot Utilities. I did a video on this a few days ago. And this allows me to list all the measures for the calculated columns in a very nice way. So when you download this file, you will be able to get all the formulas and a description on what they do. I cannot do this with uh, Power BI Desktop. So therefore I've chosen to do this example in Excel and probably I will continue doing them in Excel uh, in the future. So I can use this functionality. Yeah, let's start. So here is the um, table that we're going to use for this demo. It's very simple, but I, I think it just makes it easier to understand what, what is happening when we're using the different formulas. So we're going to get this one and we are going to get it into Power Query and then Power Pivot. So we go to power pivot and here we have our table perfect okay so now that we have imported the data let's go through the uh, different counts and see what they do so the first one i'm going to demonstrate is uh, count the excel count the easiest one of all so if we just call it count and then uh, count and we're going to count the stock location so what happens uh, what you get is an error right um, the reason for that is because count allows just for numbers so count with text will not work so let's call this count with text it will give you an error but if we create count with a number like we should count and then we're going to get stock quantity I mean, it will count uh, how many um, items there are in the list. As you can see, we have uh, six rows and the result is five. And this is very important because count does not count blanks. So it will tell us how many non-blanks fields we have in this stock quantity column. Okay, so it's uh, an important differentiation. So what happens if we count stock level that doesn't have anything, but we know that this is a number, right? We change it. Let's try it out. So count with blanks. Stock level. It will return blank. Okay, so if you're doing a count on something and it comes back blank it means that the, the column is empty now here is a question for you what happens if i use count with the date column 
what do you think you will give for results? Let's try it out. Uh, date, date. There we have it. And they give us one. And the reason why it doesn't give us an error is because dates in Microsoft world are numbers. So you can actually count dates with the function count. That's quite cool. I didn't know that actually. So it was good research. Um, great. Now let's move to count A and see what that does. So count A. Let's take count, not that one, count A. And now we're going to get text because that's what we couldn't count before. And it gives us all the, um, I mean, it counts how many products we have in the product name column. Now, if I choose stock location, what happens with the blanks? And it actually behaves the same way with, as count. It ignores the blanks. So you have to remember that um, in case you want to count them too. Now let's try count A, but this time we're going to try it with a number. So count A, and now we are going to get the stock quantity. And it gives us the stock quantity. So count A works with uh, any type, so you take the uh, text uh, numbers. Oh. Perfect. Okay, let's move to the next count function. Okay, so our next uh, term or function is going to be count x. And the difference between count and count x is that count takes a column while count x takes a table. So what it really means is that with a table we can start doing more advanced counts. We could for example say okay uh, count the number of uh, values in the stock quantity column that are over a hundred. So if we try to do that count x because it is a number that we're going to count and then we do a filter we need product data right the table name and then we need a filter expression which is the product data stock quantity over 100 and now we want to know how many of those are in that column so we say product quantity. Remember that um, Excel and Power BI always gives you the expression. So here is table expression and also with filter in case if you do don't know what to write. So there we have it. We have two and that is correct, right? That so we have uh, the mountain bikes and the backpacks that are over a hundred. So you can only do these with count X. You cannot use count. Let's try count A X. And that does exactly the same that count X, but it takes more than numbers. So if we will say how many products that are their stock is over a hundred, we will take count a X and then we will take filter the table. We take the stock quantity over a hundred. And then instead of saying stock quantity column, we say, give me count the product names that is taken text and there we have it too. Excellent. 
So our next next uh, function distinct count that's exactly what it says it does and it's a count unique values in a column. So let's give it a go. Distinct count and then product the let's get the location. And here we have it three. And it is counting blanks because you have EMEA is one, Americas is the other one, and the third one is the blank. So make sure you understand that that is also counting blanks. Uh, another way you can do the distinct count this thing. Count. You can use count rows, which we will show in a minute, and then distinct, and then product, stock, location. Oh, sh sure. Uh, two expressions. So as you see, it's doing exactly the same. Uh, if, when it is better that you use this thing count because it's easier to read. Uh, so if you have a complex formula, which is where you normally use this kind of uh, DAX functions, uh, the easier to read, the better. So we have this thing count. Uh, let's go for the next one. And that is count blanks. And it does exactly what it says it does. Count blanks. If we get the stock location, it is counting how many blanks you have on the column. Now let's go with count rows. So count rows, it also does what it says it does. It counts the number of rows, but it does it on a table. So this is also a table expression. So if you remember count X and count, that count was working on columns, count X is working on tables, count rows is working on tables also. So if we write count rows, you see that is asking us for a table. So if we would just say, okay, I want to know how many tables there is in this uh, table. You just write the table name and I will say there are six rows. So that is the easiest uh, example for it. I want to show you this just to reinforce the concept uh, count rows with uh, column. If we try to write count rows function with a table, it doesn't let you as you can see, but you can still continue writing stock quantity. Let's say that for any reason you manage to r write the column name. So you will get an error, okay? Because you cannot use count with columns, you can only use it with tables. And why is that? Well, it's exactly the same concept as with count x. You can uh, start doing powerful things with it. You can start doing more advanced count rows calculations. So let's do an example. This is a simple example, for, but you will get an idea with with expression. So we do count rows. And now we're going to use filter that as usual needs the table name first. And then we're going to say where 
the stock location is equal to EMEA. So let us know how many um, rows we have where EMEA is present. And voila, it will let us know. So you have three EMEA in the table. So this is it for today. Um, if I forgot any count, let me know, or if something is not clear, uh, just shout uh, either here on the comment box or in any of the med social media channels that are listed on the description box. So I thought this count was going to be an easy video, as you see uh, there are tons and tons of things you can do, uh, different things as usual uh, for uh, different uses. So hopefully now count is like super clear for you. Um, if you want to get a reminder of what these different count things do, uh, in the description box there is a keynote with uh, shortcuts to each and every one of the functions so you don't have to watch and rewind the video to find it. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please uh, let me know by liking it and uh, questions, suggestions, remarks, just let me know in the comment box and uh, subscribe. Uh, I publish uh, videos every week. Thank you. Bye.